Hi, I'm going to teach you how to use the discussion forum here in Blackboard. Discussion forums are used to keep the class momentum going and to promote communication between you and your fellow classmates. Posting to a discussion thread is relatively simple. Just click on the Create Thread button to create a thread. Be sure to go over the forum description here to double check the topic of discussion and then go to the message box to compose your body. Before you compose your body, you want to make sure to add a subject. This is what other students and your instructor will see once they go back to the discussion thread. Responses should be kept relatively simple. If you think the response will take longer than five minutes, it might be best to compose it in another program and then copy and paste the text over into Blackboard. This will ensure that if your text is in your browser when it crashes, as it might, that the text doesn't become lost. Because if, it, if your text is in the browser when it crashes, it becomes unrecoverable. Nothing can save it. I uh, can't reboot it and it will be there. We can't save it. We can't bring it back, uh, etc. Sorry to say. So just to make sure that doesn't happen, if it's going to take longer than five minutes, go ahead and compose a notepad, copy and paste it. It'll save you a lot of trouble. With that in mind, when you're actually composing your post, there's quite a few ground rules to keep in mind. The first thing is to make sure you spell your words correctly. Correct spelling is crucial. Instructors will be looking for it. Students will as well. This is what helps to ensure your point gets across and to make your post legible. Because posts such as this are the opposite of legible. I mean, I'm sure you could sound that out, but at first glance, you're really not going to know what that is. So just be sure to keep your spelling correct, and everything should go fine. Another ground rule to keep in mind is to keep slang acronyms and abbreviations out. You know the ones. Abbreviations such as this, and this, and this. Normally these would be found in social media, text messages, surely not in papers that you would hand to your instructor in a face-to-face -face course. So. The same rule would apply here on an online course. Use academic language for your academic setting. Same rule goes for emoticons. These aren't really present in a face-to-face -face academic environment, again, so they should also be left out here. Last but not least, definitely not least, are caps. Keep your caps proper. Like this, so that it doesn't appear you are yelling at your fellow students and your instructor. Because that can definitely be seen as rude. You wouldn't want to yell at them in real life, I'm sure. So, with those, with those rules in mind, you can go ahead and compose. composition should look something like this. And once it does look proper and ready for you, you can go ahead and head down to the submit button, give it a click, and your response is submitted to the discussion forum. You can also cl uh, click on your response to view it, or view other responses, and then click reply to add your reply to the discussion. Replying is exactly the same as composing a new message. A little simpler. Since you already have the topic of discussion up here, it doesn't get listed again. And you can go ahead and submit just like you did to create a thread. And there you have it. That's how you'll be able to discuss subjects with your fellow classmates and your instructor.